Hello YouTube. Ah, it's your boy B3. Back with another kicking trading card video. This is all stuff I just listed for sale. Uh, it was a long night of listing cards, and these are all of the Magic the Gathering cards I listed. There were others like Pokemon and stuff I listed as well, Power Rangers, Batman, Green Lantern, Meta X, but uh, this video is just for the Magic the Gathering, and there are quite a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to kind of do this by more like type of card, going from the stuff that's kind of the least fancy back to the most fancy. Keep that suspense built. And all of these are on eBay. Some are buy it now, but most are auctions starting at one to 10 cents. So you'll definitely want to hop on that. So the first thing that I'm going to show off is an art card. I pulled the art card for uh, Cloyster Gargoyle. It's not stamped or anything, just the regular Cloyster Gargoyle card. Already has a bid, uh, so you'll want to jump on this one quickly. You know, nice blank. Uh, all of these cards are pack fresh as well, right out of the pack, right into their penny sleeves and top loaders and whatnot, and right onto the eBay page, because I only play with dinosaurs, and that's, that's true. Uh, I barely, my friends never want to play this game anymore, so what's the point in keeping the cards, right? Sad. Next up, this is just kind of some non-hollow stuff. Uh, we have Icing Death, Frost Tongue, which was actually worth a bit more money than I expected uh, for a token. But it's a pretty good. It's a legendary artifact token. Pretty tough card. Uh, I think I just did it on auction. I think it starts at like five cents. No one's bid on it yet. Definitely check it out. Then we have the Cleric class, which is actually pretty cool. In fact, I almost kept this one for myself. You know, it lets you like go up in levels and stuff. Uh, I think that's fun. You know, this crossover was long overdue uh, within the Magic game. I mean, we've had like Ravnica and Theros and stuff in Dungeons and Dragons for a bit. But I mean, we were overdue to have Dungeons and Dragons stuff in this card game. So yeah, you know, Cleric class, that's really cool. So you want to play as a Cleric, which is one of my favorite classes, if not my favorite class, definitely check that out. Then we have Rally Maneuver, which you might see again in a different form later in the video. Uh, I think this one, this one might just be 99 cents free shipping. I don't remember if this one, it's a lot of, I listed. Okay, look, I'm recording this on the 14th of October and I've listed 100 cards this month, okay? Yeah, that's true. So, excuse me, princess, if I don't remember all of them. And then we have Kirtle of Baldur's Gate, a legendary creature uncommon. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I actually, I really like the art. The, the whole card looks nice, to be completely honest. Once again, everything here is mint to near mint, pack fresh. And then, this is the big boy. Already have many bids on this guy. I think it's up to almost $4. Uh already and it was a seven day auction and like in less than 24 hours already up to three bucks it started at 10 cents a serac the arch lich mythic rare a serac is the lich among liches uh you know tomb of horrors tomb of annihilation a serac we you know if you've been playing dungeons and dragons long enough you've you've heard of or seen a serac so he's a pretty popular character makes a lot of sense for him to be a mythic mythic rare he's one of the most powerful beings in existence in dnd he is a tough cookie he is a tough cookie and uh you know there are multiples of him running around too <laughs> hard to explain but yeah that's pretty cool people are chasing after that one uh, I'm not super hip on all the magic terminology, but next up I'm going to kind of show you the borderless extended art cards. I'll, I normally call them full art because that's kind of the Pokemon term for them. Uh, we have Cloth's Will here. Uh, big old dragon. Blast in a cart. Instant. You can see it's a rare uh, borderless coming past the black. That'd be a cool name for like a high concept sci-fi novel, Pass to the Black. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. This one, auction, starting at like five cents, I think. Hard to remember. This one, also an auction, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Pretty well-known uh, 
<laughs> Sorcery, which is what the type of card this is. Also rare, borderless, as you can clearly see. Really nice card. I really like the art on this one. Magic pretty much always nails the art. I, I, in fact, I should just stop saying I really like the art on this one because Magic always nails the art. They do. They really care about it. But yeah, there's already a couple bids on this one, so hurry, hurry. Next up, we have showcase cards. Yeah, so these all kind of look like they're on scrolls, <laughs> if you're less familiar with magic. Uh, so yeah, we have a Null Hunter. I'm actually quite the fan of Nulls. I often try to write Nulls into my D&D campaigns. I like them. I like hyena people. But I usually, you know, write them as something that can be encountered and doesn't have to be fought. In fact, in basically any Dungeons and Dragons thing I write, I write it in a way where it can be completed no combat until maybe the end if you want. Uh, just that way it can accommodate any kind of play style. But yeah, so that's a common, that's a showcase version of a common. The clattering skeletons I really like. I almost wanted to, I almost kept this one too, just because it's real fun. Uh, <laughs> with like the partially dressed skeletons walking around. That's another common. I'll just tell you when they're not commons instead of telling you when they are. We got this Ginny Windseer. Pretty cool. like the blue backing on that one. Kind of just real nice. Real nice. That one's a good card too. Uh, and then we're just kind of skipping on common, going straight to rare with Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. Uh, no one's bought this yet, but it does have Watchers. Uh, pretty cool legendary creature. Human, Elf, Ranger, Reach, Board 1. Really nice card. And then on the very end, this one's an Uncommon, but it's a Hollow, so I tacked it on the end there. Cloister Gargoyle. You know, this is the showcase version uh, of the card of that we have the uh, art card for, oddly enough. I like the I like the nice hollow. It's holographic, and I normally see uh, when magic cards are hollow. It's normally hollow foil uh, instead of holographic, which is very interesting. So that made this card feel extra unique. Really like that. So let's take that and put it over there. Next up, we're gonna touch on some hollows. Kind of a lot of hollows. <laughs> The rest of the stack, actually. So we have a hollow basic lands plane, just a nice white. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> basic land, but it is, you know, if you're doing a complete set, you will need this. And a lot of people just like to have their basic lands be hollow. People do that in Pokemon with energy as well. So if you want one of these, I think I did like bidding starting at one cent. Yeah. So check out that planes if you want it. And then we have this hollow emblem, Morden Canaan, you know, from Morden Canaan's Tone of t t pfft, Tome of Foes. Uh, I almost kept this. Not that I would have ever used it, but you know, my first instinct was because it says you have no maximum hand size, which uh, I hate having a limit in the hand. I hate it so much. And on the opposite side is Dog Illusion, which looks extra good in a nice hollow foil. So Dog Illusion token, creature on one side, Morden Canaan emblem on the other, both hollow foil. Then we have Brazen Dwarf. I also pulled a regular one, but I don't have it listed yet. Um, he looks really good. The hollow really gets into those uh, fancy eyes, it really makes them like glow just like the fire. So the hollow is a great effect on this dwarf and shaman. And then we have a Mimic. Who doesn't love Mimics? Honestly, who doesn't think Mimics are cool? Well, maybe Dark Souls players. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, the Mimic is such an interesting creature that you could do a lot with. Happy to have it. And it's colorless, which makes complete sense. So you can run it in any colored deck. And it's an artifact treasure, actually. It's not a creature, oddly enough. But if you sacrifice Mimic, you can add one mana of any color. Uh, uh, mimic becomes a shapeshifter artifact creature with base power and toughness 3-3 until end of turn. Then you have this uh, Gloomstalker. Really cool. I like how the 
like opening to the cave shines behind him. That's really nice. That'll go good in your white deck. Dwarf Ranger, olive foil. Very cool. Precipitous Drop. That's a D&D party if I ever saw one, right? Yeah, so that's just someone falling, enchant creature. Uh, when this card enters the battlefield, uh, you venture into the dungeon. Enchanted creature gets minus two, minus two. It gets minus mi five, minus five instead, as long as you've completed a dungeon. So that's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. Then you have, as I hinted before, Rally Maneuver. This is just a hollow version. If you want both for your deck, you can get my regular, and you can get my hollow. Wee! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that uh, Perseverance Drop was the last common. We're moving into the uncommons now. Here's another uncommon, Burning Hands. Uh, anything with like fire or energy just looks really good in the hollow. Really good. So Burning Hands deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If that permanent is green, Burning Hands deals six damage. And for two, it's an instant. Not bad at all, you know, especially if you're Friends like to run green. And then this is one that I thought would be worth more, but it's actually not. Uh, it's an adult gold dragon. Uh, you can see that magnificent tail. I, I like how the gold dragon and some other metallic dragons have the, like, wings that continue down on the tail. That's gorgeous. But uh, it's got flying, lifelink, haste, 4-3. Uh, yeah, I, I think I just threw this one up on auction as well, just starting at a few cents. Uh, so if you want this foil adult gold dragon i wouldn't blame you that's just a cool card to have even if you're not gonna run it this is just a cool card to have this one is the kicker i actually think this was the one maybe worth the most it seemed and or maybe it was that i didn't see any of these on ebay maybe uh, it is a hollow guardian of faith which is pretty cool. It's like really good. It's for three creature spirit knight. It's a white card. Flash vigilance. When guardian of faith enters the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control phase out. Three, two, rare. And apparently the hollows are a bit difficult to find. Yeah, that's a really nice one. That's a really nice one. And then we have Flame Skull. This is not only a hollow foil, but also a mythic rare. So yeah, a hollow mythic. That is nice. That is really nice. And if you look at it, it's also borderless. It's hard to tell at first, but it's a borderless mythic hollow. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. It's hard to tell it's borderless at first. I didn't actually notice when I pulled it. I didn't notice that until later. Very cool card. Very cool card. So yeah, that's it. I don't want to do a big recap because there was simply so much. Uh, <laughs> this was already plenty long enough. My videos are always a little lengthy these days. But that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, if you want to see more, you can definitely uh, check out lots of our other magic vids. We've also done uh, openings of like, I think, we, yeah, we did like a booster box and stuff for magic. I'm trying to get back into magic videos because I hadn't done any in a while. So you're going to see more heading your way. So that's it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all next time.